There you go. You probably got that pike. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a walleye. Yeah, it didn't hit any harder than. Oh, geez, that's a big walleye. <laughs> oh, man, Jeff. <laughs> oh, geez. Nice one, Jeff. <laughs> Look at that. That's a chunk. Man, Jeff, that's a beauty. <laughs> hey, folks, we're in Canada's wilderness, and we're catching walleye. What can be better than that? There's not much. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski, and I'm with my son-in-law, Jeff Kramer, and we are on a Canadian adventure. There's not many people that get to go out in an outpost camp. We're on an outpost camp out of Red Lake. We got a lake to ourselves, pretty much, on one of the most gorgeous days that you can have in Ontario, Canada. Jeff just caught this one to start us off, and we've got a day full of walleye catching, Jeff. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I'll just find him on the graph and you just catch it, Jeff. <laughs> I feel. Do you need the net on this one? Or? You tell me. Hey, prop, maybe. Yeah, we'll flip him then. Good one, though. Come here, buddy. Got him. Got him. And they are pretty fish. You can't ask for a better day in Ontario, Jeff. I mean, come on, you're a lucky guy right now. So that's the kind you eat for lunch. And we're gonna have a short dinner tonight, actually, so uh, we're not gonna keep this guy, but, because there's tons of them in the lake. We're having fun right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see those head shakes? <laughs> Just going, see the, see the rod tip? That's when you know it's a bigger fish. And here it comes. And in the net, you bet, baby. Way to go, Jeff, nice nut job. <laughs> Great catch. <laughs> That's beautiful. So what do you need to bring to an outpost? Well, first of all, it's tackle-wise. Let me get rid of this guy first. You wanna first of all bring a lot of jigs. It's the major presentation here in Canada, jig and a minnow. So you want 16 ounce, quarter ounce, half ounce, maybe even up to an ounce if it's really windy and you wanna stay on the bottom. You wanna make sure you have some plastics, either gulp or bring in some minnows or leeches. Medium to medium light action rods for your walleye. And then you want maybe heavier action for your pike if you're gonna go pike fishing. As far as trolling, if you're gonna troll, make sure you bring some body baits for trolling with. And for your pike, maybe some bucktails or some spinners of any kind, that should work. And I suggest, I highly suggest, if you've not fished an outpost lake before, make sure you bring some electronics. I got my Lowrance uh, little ice fishing unit here that I just bring along, just to make sure that you know the depth, you know where the reefs are, you know where the structure is. Staying down, that's nice. Yep. There he is. It's a bigger one. No, no, stay down, stay down. Yep. Now just keep the tension on him. Mm -hmm. I'll let him run too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wherever he wants to go, you follow him. Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep bringing it in. Nice. Way to go, Jeffrey. We did it. Well, now you got your largest pike. <laughs> It's a fat one, a nice thick one. Good belly. And that's a good 30, 33 incher, 34. Yeah, baby! <laughs> hey, this is your day. Well, buddy, now you have your personal best walleye and your personal best pike in the first day in Canada fishing. <laughs> what do you think? It's definitely exceeded all expectations, continues to exceed all expectations. I mean, like you said, catching big fish, beautiful day. We're alone on the lake here. And and we oh, still have another day. I don't know what else you could ask for. <laughs> <laughs> Finally hit. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Come on, baby. Oh, yo, I like when they take the drag, Jeff. He's coming in. Nope, not yet. Oh, you got him. You got you. Nice catch. <laughs> he had other ideas. <laughs> nice grab, buddy. There we go. That's a nice fish. This is the beauty of an outpost, folks, right here. Yeah, we're fishing out of Red Lake, Ontario. 
which I'm calling the, the float plane capital of the world. They're taken into the beautiful places like this where you're the only boat or the only people fishing on the lake. It's really cool. You can have your own almost private lake to yourself. We happen to be at Bob Green's Nungesser Lake Outpost, which is just a beautiful lake. You got cotton cold running water. You got bathrooms, great sleeping arrangements. You got all the utensils and everything that you need, even coffee pots. But you're out in the vastness of the Canadian wilderness, and that's what's key all by yourself. It's an adventure that everyone should take. Definitely heavier. <laughs> That's good. Just in case, we'll get the net ready. Just keep your tension on. I like it when it takes drag. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a pike. Yeah, he's really trying to go down. That, that could be a walleye, then. OK, easy. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Big walleye. Jeffrey, nice job. Good one. <laughs> That's what we were looking for. That's what you were looking for, that's for sure. Nice job, Jeff. You know, folks, at some point in your life, every, every angler should be able to take an outpost trip. I am so glad I got to take Jeff Kramer, my son-in-law, with us here. If you want to find out more information on how you can make your own adventure, visit redlake.ca. I want to thank Red Lake Tourism and Bob Green's Outpost Camp for hosting us. Hey, I'm Larry Ladowski for Jeff Kramer. We'll catch you later.